Hi, I am Kalyan from Banana IP Councils, an intellectual property firm based out of Bangalore, India. This presentation is about the value of IP for a business. Before we begin, I would like to point out that intellectual property is just one tool among several other tools that a business has to help it succeed in the marketplace. Just like other tools, a company can decide on whether to use it or not, how to use it, and if it wishes to use it, wh what, what are the strategic ways by which it wants to use intellectual property. Now, intellectual property can play a very important role in business in several ways. Some of the basic ways in which intellectual property can help a business are by helping the company stop competitors, secondly by increasing revenue streams of the company, then by opening up licensing opportunities for the company, by enhancing the financial value of the company and by playing an important role in helping the company promote its products or services by, uh, through business development and marketing. Uh, going through these things one by one, firstly stopping competitors. By nature, intellectual property grants exclusivity. Anything that is protected by intellectual property gives exclusive rights to a company with respect to that particular subject matter. So by its very nature, uh, by granting exclusive rights, intellectual property helps a company stop competitors. For example, if a company has intellectual property protection over a time machine, a machine that can travel back and forth in time, it gets exclusive rights over that machine it can stop its competitors from making, using, selling or doing any other activities with respect to that machine which helps it to stop competitors in a manner that enhances the company's business goals. Now, while protecting intellectual property can give this exclusivity which can help the company stop competitors, protecting intellectual property in an integrated and organized manner is absolutely important for a company to be able to gain optimal business value. Normally for a knowledge or technology driven company, the most valuable forms of intellectual property are patents, copyrights, trademarks, trade secrets and industrial designs. And these forms of intellectual property must be protected in an integrated manner for a company to get, as I already mentioned, optimal business value. Now what do we mean by integrated protection? Now what you see on your screen is a Swiss Army knife. Now, the way in which the components of the Swiss Army knife are arranged is an invention and that is protectable as a patent. Now, the way in which the Swiss Army knife looks is an the aesthetic appeal of the Swiss Army knife is protected as or protectable as an industrial design. Now, the logo that is used on the Swiss Army knife is a representation that is used to represent the origin of this is this Swiss Army knife can be protected as a trademark. Same way the promotional materials, the marketing materials and the booklet that accompanies the Swiss Army knife can be protected as a copyright and the mechanism or the process by which the Swiss Army knife is being made can be protected as a trade secret. Now by protecting all these forms of IP in Swiss Army knife a company can get integrated protection and by integrated protection it can stop competitors from encroaching into its intellectual territory from all the angles. Now, whether a company really wants to do it for its products, whether a company wants to file all, uh, protect all forms of IP in a product or only limited forms of IP depends on the extent to which a company is aggressive as far as its intellectual assets is concerned, its business goals in protecting these forms of IP and its budget and several other factors. Now, by gaining exclusivity and protecting IP in an optimal manner, many companies achieve enhanced revenues. By virtue of stopping competitors and by being the only player in the market, a company is able to price its product products at a premium. Uh, cater to the entire market by itself and thereby enhance its revenue streams. It can also license 
its intellectual property and increase its revenue stream. So intellectual property by its very nature of exclusivity and stopping competitors gives a company the opportunity to enhance revenues uh, in the market, in a particular marketplace. Now licensing is another opportunity that can really add great value to, to an organization in terms of its revenues. As in the Indian context, licensing has not been uh, really utilized uh, in a manner that is suitable for companies to uh, enhance their profitability as much as it is used in the West because of lack of uh, a good licensing infrastructure, capacity and experience with respect to licensing uh, intellectual property in the Indian context. However, if, pro if, if a company can properly customize itself or tailor make its strategies to suit the Indian context, then the company can surely open up licensing opportunities uh, and strike deals in a manner uh, that suits the circumstances uh, in the country and thereby generate or open up good revenue streams from its intellectual property. Then intellectual property can also play a very important role in increasing the financial value of a company. Now, as you can see on the screen, if you look at, if you compare an IP savvy company versus a non-IP non savvy company, of course, uh, it depends on whether IP forms the core of the company or not. Uh, if IP forms or intellectual assets form the core of a company, in a non-IP savvy company, the tangible assets normally are much more valuable or in terms of financial value, the tangible assets outweigh the intangible assets or the intellectual assets. Whereas in an IP savvy company, a company which protects its intellectual property aggressively, the value of intangible assets, which is the value of its intellectual assets, is much, much higher than, than the value of its tangible assets. In other words, a company which is knowledge and technology driven and which is creating a lot of intellectual assets, if it protects its intellectual property properly, it can really enhance the financial value of its company by 5 to 10 times of its tangible asset value. Of course, many scholars may argue about these ratios. Uh, subject to uh, and the ratios are always subject to the kind of business uh, a company is doing and the market it is in and several other factors. But the point is this, if a company really takes advantage of its intellectual assets and it is an intellectual asset driven company, it can build great intangible asset value which normally supersedes its tangible asset value by a large extent. Then finally, intellectual property also plays a very important role in enhancing the credibility of a company and enabling it to develop its business and market its products in a very effective manner. From consumers to companies, intellectual property is recognized as an important indicator of innovativeness and through innovativeness, quality products. Right? So, by promoting its intellectual property uh, or by promoting that a particular product or a process or a service is protected by intellectual property, a company can really take good advantage uh, and develop more business and thereby gain financially. Recognition of uh, or recognition or fame or credibility of a company is by a lot uh, is, is associated in many ways with the extent of intellectual assets a company owns and every company must look at promoting and taking advantage of its intellectual property for not just stopping competitors enhancing financial value but also uh, for carrying out organized business development activities that's pretty much it from me thank you very much We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Please write to us on contact at bananaip.com if you have any, any questions or comments. Thank you.